Okay, one more topic that we want you to learn before we turn you loose and let you do some practice down here on your own. So you've learned how to use SQL, func SQL functions, but now let's have you learn how to use calculated fields. So the idea of a calculated field is that we may want to calculate, for example, the total cost of an order for a customer. We don't typically record total cost. Rather, we record, sorry, not cost, maybe price or revenue, but we record the, the price of individual line items on a receipt, and then we can uh, calculate the total cost of an order by totaling up all of the receipt line items. That way we don't have to save extra data in the database that's unnecessary or redundant when we can calculate something in memory. So look, let's give you an example here. Calculate the difference between the current salary and the maximum salary for each regional manager. So basically you're trying to find out how much uh, salary cap room is left for each of our regional managers before uh, if we want to give them raises before we uh, have to change her title to something higher up than regional manager. So let's copy this and let's head back here to data world. All right, so here's how we're going to do this. All right, start with show last name, salary, the maximum salary. That's So this salary is the salary they actually have. Maximum salary is the is the highest possible salary for their position type and then salary difference which is the difference between max and salary okay so let's start with last name i'm also going to include position title for now just so i can verify that i actually get regional manager right whoops so this is common and then later i can take position title out once i verify that my query is correct salary maximum uh, max salary and then we're going to do, uh, I'll save this last one for in, for just a moment here. So from employee, uh, let's do an inner join. Uh, we'll say position first. I guess we don't need location, just position. So that's all I need. Position on employee.positionID equals position.positionID. Okay. Next, we only want to do this uh, where position title equals regional manager okay regional manager come on there we go name the calculated fill salary difference okay cool let's go ahead and delete this off of here and see if our query is working so far so run query all right we got these two Rodriguez Whitehead here's their current salary and their max salary okay now let's do the calculate Okay, this is actually a lot easier than you might think. All we're going to do, uh, let's use some parentheses here, and let's say max salary minus salary, and then we're going to name this as salary difference, because that's what it said to do in the question. All right, can I give myself some more room left to right? No. Oh, that's fine. Okay, run this query. All right, here we go. Rodriguez, Whitehead, regional manager. Oh, let's get rid of position title. Now that we know that we've just got regional managers and that's working fine. Let's run that again. All right, salary difference. Let's see here. Rodriguez is making 150,000, has a 100,000 room of salary cap. Uh, Whitehead, 250 to 175. Perfect. So with calculated fields, you follow the same rules that you would follow um, for operators, meaning that uh, we follow order of operations. So for example, let's say we wanted to calculate this as a percent of their current salary. So to do that, I could then divide this by salary. Now, let's see if that'll work on its own without additional, yep, it does, okay. Let's say uh, we wanted to do it as a function of max salary, but we didn't use our parentheses here. So according to the order of operations, it's actually going to do salary divided by max salary first and then do max salary minus that, which is going to be very similar to max salary because it's subtracting out a percent from it. So then we realize, oh, shoot, I meant for this to be done first. So use parentheses is all I'm, the only point I'm trying to make to uh, make sure that the functions, the operators are performed in the order that you intend for them to be performed in. But really, that's about it. So... Uh, that's uh, how you create calculated fields. This is a very common practice, and it allows us to uh, save space in our database. 
with the example I gave at the beginning in particular, we uh, don't want to store something like order total, or we don't have to. You, you might do it anyway for other reasons. There could be a variety of reasons. But uh, you don't have to store order total if you can just create a query that creates a calculated field that sums up the profit, cost, revenue, whatever you're interested in from all the order line items over a particular period or, or a particular type. Anyway, so that's how uh, functions, sorry, that's how calculated fields are used.